Welcome back. So just a quick note on Git. Actually, I want to just take the code where we've just updated all of our beautiful um, core framework into 2.0. I want to share that with my team now. So I'll have to commit all the changes to my common GitHub repository that we're using as a team. Now I just wrote the command git status and that actually shows all the changes I've done since last time. So I need to get this up to the GitHub repository. Now I have to do this in two stages. You can actually do it in three. We can start using the at and the at will kind of put it in a holder place so I can start making smaller commit chunks. And that's kind of powerful when you have big, uh, really big repositories with uh, huge changes. But we don't here, it's just three project files. So we're just going to add everything in one commit. And we can do that by saying git commit am for adding everything and then M for a message. And here I'll just write um, changed to version 2.0, like this. So that's the message, right? So you can also do it like this if you don't want AM. You can actually spit that into two different commands here. So it's dash A for all files and dash M for message. So dash A pretty much means just add all files in one big chunk. And I might get back to that later, but not right now. So now if I do a get status again, now you can actually see that everything is ready to be pushed. And it actually explains to me you are one commit um, behind, so you need to make one push to the live repository. Now, one thing you should always do before you push, uh, if you're not absolutely certain you're up to date, is actually do a pull. Git pull will just get the data from the live environment or the GitHub and cloud and push it down locally, and then I'll do a git push if everything seems to be ready, if I don't get any merge conflicts or any files has changed that I didn't expect, etc. And I'm actually done. That's how simple it is to get things back on Git and actually using a terminal instead of the GitHub desktop client. It gives more power when you really start diving into Git. And I think to get going with this, I would, I would encourage you to start using the simple commands like pull, push, commit, add, right? So just get going with the command prompt if you want to play around with it. That's all for this lesson. See you next time.